speak, I've, 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 I've already said uh, that I regret very much that uh, the uh, member for Tamworth continued to hold office after the complaint was made against him in the, in the Foreign Office. And uh, it, was, it was resolved in the Foreign Office. His apology was accepted. But clearly that was not enough. And in hindsight, Mr Speaker, I should have realised that he would not, he would, he would not change. However, when it came to the Friday of last week, and when I uh, was given the information that uh, he's read out about the complaint that was made against uh, the Honourable Member, I acted immediately, Mr Speaker, and I I took the whip. I I would not want to... um, It seems extraordinary that you wouldn't know whether there are allegations outstanding against your government ministers of sexual impropriety such that they they might um, constitute... Um, potentially criminal offences apart from anything else. Look, I, I, th- th- nothing that springs to mind, OK? The point is that the allegation is that you have trivialised <laughs> this issue. You've not even remembered it, perhaps no. because he's, he's a useful ally no. to you. Sorry, no. And the point is that then you appointed somebody who you believed to be a sex pest in a position of power and authority no. over other people in no. the Parliament. So that's not right, because... Uh, the, so, the, the, uh, under any view, uh, the issue at the, at the Foreign Office uh, was, uh, although it was upheld, it was resolved in a way that was satisfactory. It was upheld. Uh, to, to, it was resolved in a way that was satisfactory to all uh, parties.